You know, coffee comes in all kinds of sacks and different kinds of cans, but to make the best cup of coffee in the world, you gotta have the right pot. Stick around, we're gonna show you how to season it to get that great flavor of cowboy coffee. Let's talk about what it takes to make a good cup of coffee. And there's a lot of things involved, mostly about three of them, fire, water, and coffee. But the most important one, good coffee pot. Now you can buy these coffee pots like this at junk stores, antique stores, find them on eBay, stuff like that. But folks, be careful. If you're ordering one online, you need to make sure that you ask that fella if you're buying it off eBay, will it hold water? Now, when I get one of them, I find one, you know, one of them away antique stores or something like that. I say, excuse me, folks, I gotta take this outside. They say, well, what, I, what are you gonna do with it? I said, I ain't gonna steal it. I'm gonna hold it up here and I'm gonna look, see if I can see any pinholes in there. That way I know it's gonna hold coffee. Now, if it's got all this on there and a handle and everything, which you do need, make sure that there ain't no cracks around here anywhere because it'll leak if there is a crack. I used to have one look like this and I epoxied for like 21 years and Shannon finally made me give it up. Same thing on that spout. Make sure there ain't no cracks. But the most important thing after you ain't got no cracks in it is the inside of that coffee pot. You wanna zoom in here, Shan, so people can see in there? That thing is what we call well seasoned. A well seasoned coffee pot is like well seasoned cast iron gonna make everything taste better now when I first get me one of them coffee pots if it's never had any coffee made in it and I'm gonna always smell you can smell it if it's got that coffee taste in there from way back but you don't look in there a lot of them never have had anything in them they might just be brand new just be shiny in there set it on a heat source fill it up to about right there let that water get hot pour you some coffee in this is not coffee we're drinking. This is coffee we're seasoning with. And let's just let it sit there and boil, and boil, and boil. I'm talking a 10 minute boil. Then I'm just gonna set it off over somewhere. I'm gonna let it sit all day long. Maybe part of the night. Pour it out the next morning. Rinse it out good. Then I'm gonna make me a pot of coffee in there. But just make sure to look for that good one the first time and folks, I'm saying if around $85 for a pot like this is a plenty, watch them people because some of them want a whole lot more than that and uh, that ain't hardly fair. Now I know some of you, y'all can't drink this much coffee in a day. We got a little one in the house, it's like a three quarter. We, we got her from Amazon, it's enamel. Hey, we've used it on this, we've used it on a gas burner. Channel have you a link there too to where you can click on Amazon and get you one of them little old three quart coffee pots. When I get ready to rinse this old coffee pot out, if I'm on a ranch or anywhere in the world, I'll just take it over under that water barrel, put me some water in there, pour it out. I'm ready to make coffee again because it's well seasoned. But one thing it never gets, just like cast iron, I never put soap in there. Most of them old cowboys on them old ranches, if they had their own cup, they never even rinse their cup out. It never seen soap. Coffee pots are like cast iron. They gotta be seasoned the inside. What does that? Making coffee over and over and over. Say we got through using that coffee pot and we're fitting to pack up and move camp. So all the coffees drink out of there, it's clean. I've rinsed it out. I'm gonna turn it right just like that. And I'm gonna let that heat off that fire dry it on the inside. Now I've seen them old coffee pots that them old people used years ago and they wouldn't dry them out. They'd just put that lid on them, put them in the chuck box, take off, they might not use it for a month. You look at it later, it might have a little mold growing in there. So always make sure when you get through and you rinse it out, let it dry good before you store it. You're gonna have to have a lid. That's hot, it's been sitting there a while, know what I mean? Now, a lot of the lids I had have flew off, blowed off, bounced off every while. So this one is just a manufactured piece of, that's really hot, Shan, piece of metal with a nice cabinet knob on top. Got it made at the pin shop, just fits right in there. Hey, it'll keep out the bad things, which is bugs and dirt and everything else. So, you know, coffee has played a, a very important part in a lot of cultures for many years, but in a cowboy's life, 
it's the first thing you look for when you crawl out of that bedroll headed towards that old cook shack or towards that wagon, and that is that first cup of coffee. Now, old Cookie's got it ready, and me and Shannon always do, but it's the first place they stop. They'll come in, morning, Kent, morning, Shannon. You got some of that coffee? And boy, they'll hunt them a cup and pour them up a drink. So that old coffee is a lifeblood of many, but to a cowboy, it's a go-to thing every morning. We'll keep her on all day, and, and to get to share a cup of coffee with a friend means a whole lot. Whether it's in a starlit sky out in the middle of nowhere, or maybe you're just sitting in the backyard. To be able to share that cup of coffee with a friend will bring you closer together. You want to make a good cup of coffee, remember how we start. First of all, we look. Make sure it ain't got no cracks anywhere. Make sure the seam down here is good. Look at it through the sunshine. Make sure there ain't no air holes because if there is, if it leaks, ain't good for nothing but a flower pot. Make sure that you put the water in there. You boil you some coffee extensively. I'd say let her boil 10 or 15 minutes. Longer it boils, better it's gonna be. Just let it sit in there. Let it just sit there and love that old coffee pot for the first day. We showed you how to take care of that coffee pot, how to season it. And if you're interested in how to make the best cup of cowboy coffee in the world, we've got a video up on that. And Shannon will have you a link there at the bottom where you can click and go right to it and watch it, folks. Like my daddy always told me, don't judge a man by what he rides or what he wears on his head. It's what he's got in his heart. Same thing. Don't judge a coffee pot, this old pot, by how it looks on the outside because I guarantee you it's going to break some of that black magic good coffee on the inside. Thank y'all for stopping by. Pour a cup. God bless you each and every one.